one more game today here. I think we can get out of here before eight with these other games. Uh, there's about eight or nine of them that go off at noon on Saturday. So let's start to get into it right after this one with Florida and Utah. We know the storylines here. I mean, Cam Rising, I mean, can we stop talking? I don't talk about players that can't no, – nothing wrong with an injured player. I mean, I, but um, – they're not going to, you know, if they're not going to play, they're not going to play. So I thought actually, because this game had gone all the way to down, and I thought I actually saw a little bit of buyback. Disclaimer I did take Florida in the offseason uh, at plus 10 and a half. So uh, didn't, didn't give it out, didn't sell. I'm trying to try tell you whatever, but um, my position might be a little a bit settled here in this one. I may end up having to turn to the total because I feel like I'm already invested in this game. So uh, no chance, I guess no chance rising plays, right? Oh, have we heard anything? <laughs> um, that's been the discussion the whole time. So Whittingham, uh, you can trust him as a home favorite though. I would imagine uh, Utah can, uh, you know, be just fine here in the spot to maybe get a victory. I don't know if they can get the money, but, uh, you know, Winnie has been pretty solid. Utah's won 34 of their last 47 games and gone 27 and 20 against the spread. They return 16 starters. So not the rule of 17, but still Utah, uh, one of the best home favorites around, no doubt about it. Uh, Utah 21 and nine against the spread as a home favorite over the last five seasons. So you know, combine that with Whittingham as you know, uh, those are those are good stats certainly for Utah. Last year Utah was at Florida for their game and Utah lost as a road favorite 29 to 26. Florida rushed for 283 yards in that game, while Utah rushed for 230 yards. Could we see these teams kind of, you know, being a little bit conservative and maybe keeping it on the ground a little bit? Look at this total is all the way down to 44. You know, the summer, the summer line, I think was, I want to say it was as high as 50, well, 51 and a half was mostly the regular opener, but I saw a number higher than that in the summer, uh, I think. I didn't have a shot at it. I don't know if it, you know, because it could be a rogue number. We're, we're going to call it 51, 51 and a half is the official. I think everyone can agree that that was the recent opener. Utah is still going to take action from handicappers, I believe, even without rising, because I think that they, you know, you know that they have, uh, you know, pretty solid offensive line returning. And uh, for Florida, uh, this is tough to swallow right now, uh, having gone, you know, back to back six and seven seasons. Um, over, uh, uh, that's been tough. They return 11 starters, six on offense, five on defense. Um, they have a transfer quarterback, a veteran quarterback in from Wisconsin, 32 career starts. You don't get many chances with Florida as a road dog. They're 0-3. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 3-0 against the spread last year as a road dog, but um, – they weren't good before that. In fact, uh, the Gators 5-10-1 against the spread in non-conference games. Last 16 non-conference games. Hmm. All right. This one's getting away from me, too. Uh, maybe it would have been a premium. Uh, I don't know saying I could have got 51. I mean, we're coming on the show here. I didn't play it or anything. I'm going to take the under in this one. Even at 44, I'm going under, you guys. Here tonight. Let's see what the chat has to say in this one. And we've got Jamar is going to still come in on Utah. I think Carla wants the over. And 
Brent maybe on Utah, JD on Florida. Talking about Graham Mertz there, JD. Thank you. Burley says maybe take Florida plus those points. Hi, right, Billy Mac is here today. He says take the over. <laughs> maybe, but uh, I don't know. I think, you know, he's still only a junior, right? So. Yeah, Zane, looks like rising. I mean, like I said, I thought I saw a move back to five and a half yesterday that got me all up and I'm like, and then I, on Twitter and there was no news of it. So I don't know. Could they pull a fast one on us tonight? I don't know if there's gamesmanship, going to be gamesmanship involved. So, 